it's Dr. D. So today we're going to be learning about why airplanes fly. And then we're going to be making a rotocopter. Then I'm going to have a challenge for you. Elephants? Why would we be hearing about elephants if we're talking about learning to fly? Well, I guess you're just going to have to hang around and find out. Let's go. The average airplane weighs 550,000 pounds. That's equivalent to 46 elephants or 24 school buses. Wow, now that is heavy. So there are four forces that act on the airplane at all times. And these four forces determine if the airplane will fly or if it will not. They are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. So let's get up so we can do the four forces flight dance with Dr. D. The four moves are lift, weight, thrust, drag. Lift. Weight, thrust, drag. Now, let's learn why airplanes fly. Lift is caused from specially designed wings that are curved over the top. This curvature over the top allows the air, when the airplane is moving through the air, to move faster. This faster moving air on top of the airplane is what causes the airplane to lift. Weight is caused by gravity, pulling the airplane down towards the ground. You've seen this every day. When you have an object, like I have this highlighter, and you let it go, which direction does it go in? Down. It's the same reason we are not floating in the air like people in space. Gravity pushes us down. Now there's drag. You've felt drag. Drag is air that pushes against the body. It pushes against the body and then it wants to push you backwards. You've seen this and you've experienced this if you've ever ridden a bicycle. Ridden a bicycle and you feel that air against your body, that is drag. And what happens when it's really, really windy and you try to ride your bike in a lot of wind? You have to pedal, pedal, pedal really hard. And then what happens? You have to crouch down like this so that you have to keep pedaling. Otherwise, it's going to push you backwards. Well, these same things happen with an airplane. So there must be something that has to be stronger than drag and stronger than gravity pulling it down. And that is called thrust. And that's the purpose of the engines. The engines create a thrust of the airplane that's stronger than weight from gravity and it's stronger than the drag from the air. So that's how airplanes fly. Okay, so Dr. D's out here freezing with our rotocopter. And here we go. Yes. And what forces were not out, um, pushing on the rotocopter? 
it didn't move forward, so there was no thrust. And if you want it to fall faster, you add more paper clips. Happy sciencing, Dr. D.